Hello and welcome to another video. Um, once again, I'm going to take another departure this time. Not exactly a departure, but um, I am going to show you some vintage stuff. But I also kind of wanted to show you some other things that I thought you might find interesting. And uh, let's just call this a uh, kind of a potpourri video. And uh, I'm going to show you um, some items I recently have acquired that just have interesting stories attached to them. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. And, you know, if... if uh, if the comments are good, I might try to do more videos like this too, just because they're kind of fun. First thing I'm going to show you is this. This is um, Georgia Down Home White Dirt. And uh, if you live in the South, and if you go to convenience stores, uh, the kind of more of the seedier type of convenience stores, you can find this for sale, at the usually at the counter, at the register. And um, now it's, uh, it's basically kaolin which is the same ingredient that's put in kale peptake. Um, people eat it, yes. Uh, there are dirt-eating people uh, who live here. And um, now you're not supposed to eat it. In fact, uh, it clearly says uh, not to eat it, and it has uses uh, for it. Let's see if I can... Uh, adhesives, catalyst. It just says catalyst. You know, I, it's like, you know, pick your own experiment. Here's a catalyst. Um, ceramics, glass, ink, paint, paper, pesticide, pharmaceuticals. See, that's that's another kind of like a, a weasel word because that's the main reason people are buying this stuff. Uh, plastics, rubber, and um, old whitewash. I guess we're talking about like Tom Sawyer stuff here, you know, painting the fence white. And I guess they think that you're going to go and grind all of this up and make your own paint. But um, actually people, um, uh, not suggested for human consumption, actually people do eat this stuff. Um, I don't know why, but they do. But I bought some anyway because it's the kind of, you know, I'm just like that. I, if I see something weird, I'm going to buy it. Uh, well, not everything weird, but, you know, something like this. Okay, next. This is my grandma's um, desktop calendar from 1945. And I think it's really cool because um, in addition to seeing, well, she worked at JCPenney. So you can uh, just kind of see the different orders that she did, different things she did. You know, I'm so I'm bad about not putting this on the camera, so let me just, anyway. Uh, what's really cool, some interesting things, uh, is she has like VE Day and, and everything written in here. Because this was, uh, of course, the year World War II ended. So it's just kind of neat little... Um, piece of history that I look at. Okay, now, next item. This is pretty cool. This awesome, whoa, surgery book. Um, look at this thing. Look how the good condition it's in. That marbling on the binding, on the pages. Well, anyway, this book I actually adopted from the AU library. It was uh, discarded, and uh, look at it, it's, a. E. Terman, I, I believe, um, April 1st, 1910. Let me see if you can see that. And uh, it's in really good condition. Uh, the, the copyright date is 1908. And uh, it's an old surgery book. And it has you know, some pretty ghastly f <laughs> pictures of the way things were done back then. You know, amputations and so forth. But... Um, it's just a really interesting piece of history, a beautiful vintage item in just perfectly good condition. I mean, it's barely touched. So I am really glad to own this. Um, it gives you a glimpse of what medicine was like at that time. And uh, I just wanted to show that to you because I got for free. I just adopted it, you know. Uh, kind of like how we got our cats. But anyway, um, the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, this book uh, I picked up at a thrift store. Um, and when we go to the thrift store, uh, my wife looks at the clothes and jewelry and stuff. And I look at books and um, any or anything else that looks like, you know, might have some kind of vintage um, value. Sorry, I'm fighting off a yawn here. <laughs> okay, um... But what's interesting about not anyway, this is a Civil War book. I'm a, I'm a like I, I might mention in another video. I'm uh, I'm a, a, a 
before I was an, an accounting major, I, I was a history major, and I have a degree in history, and I love the Civil War. I love reading about it. But when I uh, found this book, what's interesting, oh, come on, where are they? Yes, um, is it has a whole bunch of pressed four-leaf clovers in it. I mean, is that awesome or what? So, um, what I do is uh, I make these as little presents for people. <laughs> you know, um, you uh, put them in a little plastic uh, baggie and, um, you know, just give people a four-leaf cover, give them some good luck. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little potpourri video. And uh, if you like it, let me know, comment, and uh, subscribe. And uh, keep coming back because I'll keep making more videos. I, I'm really enjoying this. Bye.